Hello everyone, in this short video I want to talk to you about New World's latest open beta test called Eternum. This took place a week or so ago but I didn't have time to, to make the video. This will bring the MMO to consoles and have a new player experience among other things. I want to give you a short disclaimer here and bear with me, as all this has a point. I played the hell out of this game at release and during Brimstone Sands expansion. 3 max level characters and all endgame content done, a lot of professions maxed and I engaged in a lot of PvP. Despite me being mostly a care bear, in this game I got the taste of blood. TLDR of this is I stopped playing when everyone around me stopped playing because of unaddressed bugs, server and game performance in PvP and, and general lack of endgame content. That's okay for a regular game, but the entire point of a MMORPG is <laughs> to keep players hooked for forever, right? But this doesn't apply to this game. The lack of endgame makes people become apathetic, then indifferent, and then they just stop showing up, you know? It doesn't matter if your first 100 hours of the experience are great. People want to play MMOs for months, if not years. And I got pretty excited about this expansion, as you'd probably guess, because I thought this is a new chance for the new world, probably the last chance, right? So I anxiously looked up the info about this new expansion to see if it alleviates my problems with the game. First thing I saw, you need to have the Rise of Angry Earth expansion to get this. Sure, I guess, but it feels weird, you know, not a good start. But yes, sure, devs got to it, right? Cross-platform play, yeah, sure, cool. What else? A large-scale PvP zone. 10 player raid, end game solo trials, upgraded leveling experience. Ha! A strongman, are you? Death and back, and you still have your soul. You should be proud. <laughs> Let the air fill your lungs. No small feet. You died on a ship, smashed by the storm. New character archetypes, revamped dialogue system, and enhanced story. An enhanced storytelling approach. Oh my god, guys, you're killing me with this shit. Now I'll quickly address each of these as I have some thoughts and concerns about everything. <laughs> But first let me say this, this expansion looks pretty small content wise. I'll come back to this in a bit. So the large scale PvP zone, this from what I hear will have some sort of extraction gameplay. You go in, you fight, you get the resources. I suspect the density of end game resources will be higher in this zone. And if you manage to get out, you keep them. If you die in the process, you guessed it everything drops. I like this idea but I'm curious how it pans out. The 10 player raid is nice, I mean any PvE content addition is good in my eyes. The end game solo trials are also very interesting. I'm curious how rewarding they will be from but from what I saw in the beta they might be fun. And now the piece of resistance. Upgraded leveling experience. In my opinion this is just marketing bullshit by this point. The leveling experience is the same. If it stays like in beta. Yeah, they made it faster at some point, but the rest is the same. Some cringy cinematics won't make it better for sure. For me at least. Unless you're into that type of thing. The only thing they, they really revamped is the starting cinematic and the area. And yeah. No idea what was wrong with the old one though. I mean, it looked a bit worse than this, but it was the same experience. The onboarding tutorial did pretty much the same thing. And making this look more stylized and cool while, while you keep the rest of the game realistic is a weird art direction, I guess. Honestly. Why on earth you put so many work hours into this is beyond me. It makes no sense. And, and it doesn't do you any favors when you, when you stop. So going through these solo instances and they are thrown into the starting area, you might get sad because the quality seems to take a nosedive, you know. You are suddenly... so you're playing Diablo 4 and suddenly you play with Grim Dawn, you know. I have nothing against Grim Dawn, by the way, that's a great game. But visually, it's night and day, right? At least they added some colorful bits here and there in the form of some corals. 
in the next area but yeah they, there's a big disconnect uh, what's next new character archetypes yeah these are cool and offer you a head start in some trade skills depending on what class you so sure this is a good feature but yeah, again a very tiny whatever feature <laughs> indeed must infect Stop being so thick-headed. Revamped dialogue system and enhanced storytelling approach. I'll address these at once because they are the same shit for me really. Like the upgraded leveling experience, these are useless for all people I know. I mean every single one. I asked my company in Discord if anyone is hyped about any of this. Yeah, nobody cares. All these systems are fooling new players for a short while. Sure. Perhaps. I'm, I'm not sure, actually. None of them are long-term solutions for New World's problems, you know. Namely, an actual endgame other than a few dungeons and doing parkour all day to open hundreds of chests for gear and good territory PvP experience. The thing they invested their precious time in was pointless. Sadly, I suspect this won't re really resuscitate New World. It should give it a big spike in player numbers for sure, because consoles right but long term no this is not it guys i'm sorry this is not it if this is all you did no no way in hell i'm sure we can find a reason i'm no less in fury if that just i wanted to make this video earlier but i got busy with other things and kept pushing it but there it is, my thoughts on New World Eternum. I think the devs are not focusing on a bigger picture here and they want easy wins. And these easy wins won't <laughs> win them any words, sadly. They invest so much time on revamping bits and pieces nobody really cares about. In areas that were not particularly bad to begin with. I not add a new zone into the game, a normal zone, not the I'm not talking here about the new PvP area. And why not you have so little weapon variety after all those years, guys? Really? I expected at least one weapon. A new weapon. Th that means a new class, basically. Who doesn't know? I, I don't get it. M my small brain can't comprehend how you release a new expansion without a freaking weapon. But hey, at least you revamp the dialogues. Yay! To be honest, I fully recommend this game to new players as it's a great experience up to a point. Just treat it as a normal game, not an MMO, you know? What I mean by that, don't expect it to last for months or years, because it won't. It, it will fade out pretty fast after some point. There's good fun to be had in this game, especially when new servers uh, open. The new player experience is pretty cool. Crafting, the, all the chaos in the world, the PvP, people not knowing <laughs> what they're doing and stuff. You can abuse the market. You, you can do a lot of cool stuff in the beginning, you know. But after that, when everyone just enters the farming gear mode with all the chests farming and there are not many dungeons uh, i mean i i think there are 12 dungeons uh, at this point i think they had five or six when i last played the game but even those after a while it's getting old to do the same mutations every time and to get five sets of gear for every uh, week's mutation it, it's it's tiresome and yeah i don't know so yeah treat it like a normal game and you'll get your money's worth out of it for sure if they don't uh, screw the servers if the servers allow it because yeah and yeah fingers crossed they don't have many exploits and things that ruin the new players experience like it happened in the past so yeah like and subscribe for more reviews like this playthroughs guides upcoming game news and sometimes a video like this about the game i really want to succeed Take care and see ya. There you are. I was unfortunate. I worry it's about Helio.